Good morning everyone and welcome to today's Maths on the Move Active Maths Quiz. I am Mark from Direct Sports Pro and coming up we have a maths quiz with a little twist. There will be 10 questions for you to answer but instead of writing the answers we want you to match the answer to the movement shown on the screen. So for each question there will be three possible answers to choose from. Try and work out your answer before the end of the question. If you think you know, get involved with the movement to win yourselves a point. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question one. This question, we are looking at right angles. How many right angles are there in a normal square? If you think that it is, answer A, five, let's see them star jumps. If you think the answer is four, Let's get them jab punches going. Or if you think the answer is answer C, one, let's see them pendulum legs. I'll give you a minute, but let's keep the movements going. Yes, in a square there are four right angles. Give yourselves a point. Question two, are you ready? Okay, how many degrees are there in a right angle? Is it, answer A, 120 degrees? If so, let's start our windmills. Is it answer B, 60 degrees? If so, start running on the spot. Or is it answer C, 90 degrees? If so, let's kick like a donkey. Match your movements to the answers shown on the screen. The answer is 90 degrees. If you were kicking like a donkey, give yourselves a point. Now question three. What is the value of six in 268? Is it answer A, 260? If so, let's get nice and big with our star jumps. Or could it be answer B, 68? If so, burpees. Or answer C, 60? If so, let's get the knees nice and high. I'll give you a few seconds to work them out. Brilliant. If your knees were nice and high, give yourselves a point. The answer was C, 60. Question four, everyone. Great work so far. What is the total of 70 and 240? If you think it is answer A, 300, let's bounce on the spot. Is the answer 310 with answer B? Hold that balance. Or answer C, 350. Let's see them spotty dogs. You can now move if you are holding the balance. The total of 70 and 240 is 310. Question five, we're gonna look at some subtraction. What is 75 take away 15? If you think it is, answer A, 60, start doing the butterfly. Answer B, 55, back flicks. Or answer C, 50, let's hold a balance. I'll give you a few minutes to work it out.
Well done. 75 minus 15 is 60. Give yourselves a point. Answer A was 60. Okay, well done everybody. We're just over halfway now. Question six. We're looking at estimations. Which of the following answers is the nearest total of 89 plus 43? Is it answer A, 142? Answer B, 110? Or answer C, 130? Let's match your movements to the answers shown on the screen. I'm going to give you a few seconds to work them out. Excellent work again. The answer would be 130. Don't forget that point. 130 was the nearest answer. Great work. Well done. Question seven. Let's have a look at a sequence. What would be the next number in this sequence? 72, 64, 56, 48, 40, 32. Missing number. What would be the next number in this sequence? Is it answer A? 24. If so, star jumps. Answer B, 28. Let's throw them jump punches. Or is it answer C, pendulum legs with 20? So answer C, 20. Let's see them pendulum legs. 72, 64, 56, 48, 40, 32. What is the missing next number? That's really, really good. Well done if your answer was answer A, 24. Give yourselves a point. Question eight, multiplication. What is nine times 50? Is it answer A, 500? Let's start them windmills if you think it's 500. Answer B, 400. Let's start running on the spot. Or is it answer C, 450? If so, let's see them donkey kicks. Well done. If you got 450, give yourselves a point. Question nine. How many millimetres are there in five centimetres? Answer A, 500. If so, start moving with star jumps. Is it answer B, 50 millimetres? If so, burpees. Or answer C, if you think the answer is 5,000 millimetres, let's see them high knees. Awesome work, everybody. The answer is 50 millimetres are in five centimetres. If you got that right, give yourselves a point. Okay, final question. Are you ready? Question 10. What is eight times 100? Is it answer A, 8,000? If so, bounce on the spot. Answer B, 80, hold a balance. Or is it answer C, 800? If so, Let's see them spotty dogs. Let's match your answer to the movement you think is correct. Well done, give yourselves a point. 
if you got 800? Or if you were doing your spotty dogs or chose answer C? 800 is the correct answer. Let's give yourselves a point. Well done. Okay, everyone. That is it for today's maths quiz. Thank you for joining in. I hope you enjoyed moving to your answers. Now count up the score on all that you got right and drop us a message and let us know how you got on. I'll see you soon. Stay tuned. The world around us is changing. You're faced with the new challenge of homeschooling your children. For some, this is a worrying prospect, and for those who are expected to work from home, it's a near impossible task. We worry that our children will fall behind, especially in the core subject areas of English and Maths. Adding variety to your daily routine, whilst keeping your children motivated to learn and remembering to stay active, can be really difficult. The Mighty Maths home learning platform has been developed to help you right now. It keeps your children motivated, boosts confidence and improves attainment in the fundamentals of maths through fun and frequent practice. Using the concept of active learning, Mighty Maths combines fun, on-demand videos to keep your children active, with short sets of varied maths arithmetic challenges. Written by teachers and used by primary schools nationwide, Mighty Maths has been developed in line with the national curriculum, so you can rest assured that the questions your children are tackling are appropriate for their age. And using it is really straightforward. There's no need for any printing. Simply select your video, work out with Tom, and then tackle the maths questions, all on any device. The answers are waiting to be revealed, meaning your children can evaluate their progress straight away. We want to help as many households as possible during this period, so we've reduced the price from £60 to just £5 until the 22nd of May. This gives you access to a library of workout videos and maths challenges for your child to tackle. And to keep things fresh, content is updated every 20 days. And like you, we want to support our NHS heroes however we can, which is why £1 of every Mighty Maths purchase will be donated to the NHS. To start using Mighty Maths in your daily homeschool routine, sign up today.